It's been 10 minutes since the benzoid and ethanol have been placed in the ice bath here. And you can see there are plenty of crystals. The ethanol has been cooling for a long time, so it's plenty cool for the rinse. I took out the vacuum apparatus, which you'll find in one of your cabinets. It should come pre-assembly, assembled. All you have to do is hook up the vacuum hoses to the vacuum flask and to the actual vacuum. To do this, you're going to want to use a little glycerin, put it around, a little glycerin, put it around. This way, the vacuum hose will go on easy and it'll come off easy. Okay? Then you're going to want to take one filter paper, put it directly into the center of the buchner funnel, turn on the vacuum, take the ethanol and benzoyl crystals, swirl them around a little, and pour them in the center. Now, the cold ethanol will be used as a rinse and to help transfer the crystals. You're going to want to use about two or three milliliters. Rinse it around. Try to get all the crystals you can. Rinse it around. And pour it through there. You see how you have most of the vacuum, uh, most of the crystals have been transferred. Then you're going to let the vacuum run for about five minutes to try to dry the crystals. Now the vacuum has been running for about five minutes. The first thing I want to do is to shut off the vacuum. Then I'm going to take a wash glass, glass that I pre-weighed. I'm going to put it on top of the buchner funnel. Lift up the buchner funnel. Tap it. And everything should come off pretty clean. The filter paper you can remove. There is no residue on there. If there was, I could take a spatula and clean it up. Then I'm going to take the watch glass with the final crystals, bring it over to the oven, put it in the oven for 10 minutes, take it out of the oven, bring it over to the weigh station, let it cool for about two or three minutes, weigh it, write that weight down, repeat the process until I get a consistent number. When I get a consistent number, I know all the solvent has been removed and I'm good for the final calculation, which is the weight of the benzoid divided by the weight of the benzoid you started with. So you're going to take the weight of the watch glass and benzoid minus the weight of the watch glass will give you the weight of the benzoid final product. Divide that by the initial weight of the benzoid times 100 and that will give you percent recovery. You're done with the first part of the experiment. Show the crystals to the instructor. In the second part of the experiment, we are going to add 0.95 grams of fluorine to 0.05 grams of fluorinone. This will be the desired product. This will be the undesired product. The fluorine is a white crystal. You will see that the fluorinone is a yellow crystal. Your final product will only have the white crystal. The problem with the fluorine is that it clumps up with the moisture in the air. So we'll have to grind it a little bit so we'll go into solution a little bit easier. Take a piece of weighing paper, tar it, and you're going to want to weigh out about two grams of the fluorine.
Put the top. Take the two grams, pour it into the mortar. And then you're going to spend about a minute grinding it. Grind it for a little bit. Take the spatula and you scrape down the sides a little bit. Scrape down the sides again. Okay, you're going to do this till you get a fine powder. Put the weighing paper back on the scale, tar it again, and weigh out 0.95 grams. There, I got 0.959. This will be used for the crystallization. Now we're going to weigh out 0.05 grams of the fluorinone. Take a weighing paper, tar it. And I got 0.06, which is pretty close. Remember to write down the two weights in your lab book. And this will be used now for the experiment and the crystallization in the second part.